People use Zoom in one of two ways, either to join or to host a meeting. In this video, we are going to show you how to join a meeting through your web browser. You can do this quickly, without the app or setting up an account. Typically, the host will send you a link over email or maybe text. You can open it from your phone or computer. We're joining from our desktop. When you click the link, Zoom will open up in a web browser. To avoid downloading the application, click Cancel. Click the blue button which says Launch Meeting. To skip over the installation process, click Cancel again, and then join from your browser at the bottom of the screen. There might be a pop-up which asks if Zoom can use your microphone and camera. If there is one, click Allow. Enter the name you would like for others to address you by in the meeting. You can turn your sound and video on or off before you enter. Click the camera button to control your video and the microphone button to control your sound. You'll have access to these buttons in the meeting too, so you can always change your settings. Then click the large button that says join. If you see a message that the meeting has not started, the host isn't logged into Zoom yet. You'll be in there soon enough. There's also a second way to join a meeting. Open up a fresh tab in your web browser, preferably Chrome, and go to zoom.us. Then click Join a Meeting. Now you need to enter the meeting ID or personal link name, which you will find in your email invitation from the host. Copy-paste that number into the box provided. Then click Join. In the pop-up window at the top of the page, click Cancel to avoid downloading the app. When you click Launch Meeting, you'll see the pop-up once more, and again click Cancel. Then click Join from your browser at the bottom of the screen. Allow Zoom to access your microphone and camera, and type your name before you join. Adjust your sound and camera settings as needed. Once you join, you might see the meeting hasn't started. Once the host is logged into Zoom, you might be asked for a passcode before you can enter the meeting. This is included in the host's email too. Copy-paste the passcode. If you see please wait, the host will let you in soon. That means you're in the waiting room, and the host must approve your entry. In the next lesson, we'll discuss how to host your own meeting. We'll teach you things like how to set up an account and invite participants. That way, you can get started. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.